Hello there everyone and welcome to another uh, Bringing Out the Knack tutorial. Um, <clears throat> last time we ended up with uh, an error around this bit. Um, I have been looking over and this is a prime example of a syntax error. Or, you know, as you can see, let me zoom in, I've forgotten, I've put that in there. And obviously I shouldn't. So, yeah, that's that done. That was my main, that was the error that I had. Um, you probably didn't do that, and it probably worked for you, but well, still. So now, let's uh, just save and try. So if we do this as Nathan, uh, the knack, then we'll do one, oh, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and it works. So we know that now it's going to run whatever's in here. So, now, we know that we've said if they press the button and full name has something in it and par username has something in it and password has something in it and password matches the repeat password we're now going to say and we're going to have to, we're going to do string length checks so we're going to make sure that username is isn't too long uh, as long with full, along with full name and password so for this we're going to do another if statement um, and inside, we're going to say uh, string len. Uh, I think, I think that's it. And then we say uh, open bracket dollar username. So we say string len dollar username. And if we say it is, if it's less than fifty, then that's good. And we're also going to, we're going to have to press. Okay, if you hold down Shift, and I think it varies per um, whether you're you've got an American keyboard or an English keyboard or a Mac keyboard for that matter. But um, if you hold Shift and press and try to find that key, for me it's in the bottom left with the uh, with the left the le the backslash. So and we need to do two of them, and then we do it again. We say str str len. So we're looking for the string. A string is like a string of data. So uh, string means numbers or letters, sort of like saying text on something. You know, it it doesn't matter. String, you know. Um, let's see. Look, I've worried, well, wondered why that was wrong. So we do string then, and there we go, like that. And now we're going to do one for full name. Now these things, oh, oh, nah. These things here, um. These these mean sort of like and or. So we say if string length equals less than fifty and or the string length of full name is less than fifty, then we will run then it'll run the uh the script I'm about to tell it to you. So then it'll run that. Or we say else and we go echo um the maximum length for username slash full name is 50 characters so that's that and then so now if that's more than 50 characters we'll get uh, you know they'll get an error um, so hopefully that works and then if not, if it is inside, so if that's less than 50, which is what it should be, and if that's less than 50, which is what it should be, we'll now do the password one. Now with the password, to add to the uh, security of it, we'll say if uh, dollar, well, string len, uh, dollar password, now we're going to say if it's less than 50, because that's what it has to be, or if string length um, of the password is more than uh, five, so that means the password has to be a minimum of five characters. This is helps with verification, and well, not verification, with helps with security. So that if someone did manage, to, so it's harder. It makes it like forcing the user to have to put in a longer password, making themselves 
more secure. So with string length password, uh, 50 string length password, blah, 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 blah. So now we're going to have to do the actual connect. Um, I don't know what I'm doing for time. Uh, okay, we'll do, um, we'll say my, oh, we'll do, we'll do a variable. Actually, okay, so we'll just test to see if this works first. Okay. So we go here. Oh. Alright, full name. Now we'll just put in you know, Nathan. Username, we'll put in um, the NAC. Password 123. Repeat password 123. Okay, we know that's going to work. So we'll do, we'll grab this and we'll copy and paste it loads. Okay, I think that's over 50. Then we press submit. Okay, that wasn't over 50. That was quite a lot, and yeah, it wasn't over 50. Oh, hang on. Okay, somewhere here. I don't know why it's still saying it works. I, like, took that out. Uh, hmm. I don't think I've refreshed it. Let me refresh. Okay, uh, what we'll do, we'll do that, blah, let's just keep that going, alright, that has to be over 50, okay, and then this will be the neck, and this will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, submit, why are you saying that, oh, I hate errors, errors are far too common as well, it's the worst thing, repeat password, passwords don't match, Why are you getting it works from? Where where are you getting it from? Okay. Um it alright, testing for this is sort of irrelevant anyways. I reckon it should work. It's like, you know. I don't know why it's still saying it works because I took that out. Whatever my browser chooses to do, sort of decides to do, and it's a bit temperamental. For now, we've now added the string lengths so that they won't end up getting any syntax errors if they put in some crazily long thing. Ah, actually, I didn't put that over five. Anyways, so yeah, so for now, um, ah, hang on, okay. Another thing is this, I've just seen, that has to be more than, so less than 50, more than five. There we go. That's good now. So yeah, anyways, um, thank you for watching. Uh, watch the next tutorial and we'll actually put stuff into the database.